Hello friends and welcome to bispsolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to write calculation for headcount and salary plan. We would be writing this calculation using calculation manager and I would associate this calculation with planning a budgeting cloud service data form. So upon saving, this calculation will be invoked. Let's get started with understanding the business requirement first and then we write calculation and finally we'll test it. So my requirement is fairly straightforward. My planner wants to perform salary and miscellaneous calculation, projected values. So we have a financial element over here called headcount, average salaries, and employee benefit. These numbers are to be input by the planners. Quarter one would be an average for these numbers and salaries to be calculated, which is a product or multiplication of headcount and average salaries. Miscellaneous would be employee benefit percentage. It is a basically a driver which multiply 15% and total salaries and total employer expenses would in turn be sum of salaries plus miscellaneous employee expenses and these are your sum of total expenses of salaries total employee expenses for all the month and miscellaneous employee expenses so in order to start writing the code for this first we need to understand what dimension members are being used so you can start dimension structure and start picking up each member one by one. I start with headcount. So you use headcount. It's an alias. And the name is 9000. You could use the alias name as well. I would write over here headcount. I already done headcount now. Alias name and member name is 9000. Similarly, you can find for average salaries. So you should be knowing the member name and the respective alias average cell is 9800 in the same fashion i retrieve for other members is a list of the members required during our calculation now let's move to calculation manager interface so i would close this interface and from navigation pane i can start rule and I create new rule for my vision application. I create new rule and name this rule as salary and headcount planning. It is for planning application, planning vision application for Q1. The beauty of calculation manager, it's a graphical user interface. Even if you do not have hardcore programming experience, you can use it. I want the whole calculation to be taken place for a specific scenario and version and period. Therefore, I drag and drop fixed expression, which is member range over here and define your expression. You can use constant or variable. You can refer my previous video. I shown how to create variable. So here I would be writing this expression for a specific year, which I would select from variable section. So There's one variable we already created application level. I use the existing variable called year and the default value is is 2003 version also I would like to select as a variable so I select variable and application variable version the default value is working and scenario I want this to be calculated for plan only as the expression name we need to plan salary and hat count select member from here called plan
Now I like this calculation to be pick, taken place for a specific product and entity. Therefore, I'm going to write nested fixed expression, drag and drop another fixed expression. This seems to have some issue. Let's save this before we reload. I drag and drop member range, another fixed expression. And here I like to limit the calculation for no product. This calculation is not specific to the product. So I would select variable or constant. Here I need to select constant or member name as no product. So you have no product, no, no entity, one member where you do not want the intersection to be taken place. I use no product. And finally, I use entity. Entity, I use variable over here, so it can dynamically be changed if you need. The beauty of using variable, you can make your application dynamic and calculation as well. So on department, which is 000 by default. You can take a specific department, but I want to use a descendant of all the departments. So I use I descendants. And you put under parenthesis this variable so this will take place the calculation will take place for all the descendants of department make sure you save it continuously and you can toggle between designer to and edit script mode now we need to perform actual calculation the first calculation is salaries which is product of b2 and b3 which is headcount and average salary so I can use drag and drop a formula over here, which consists of salaries and output goes to my, look at this Excel, output goes to my salaries, which is sum of average salary and headcount. So select the member name over here. You can select member name directly or You can select from here a specific member name. I want salaries. You can search as we already figured it out. The member name is 5800. I can take salaries to speed up the calculation. In this example, I use specific member. The next calculation I directly copy and paste. So salary is equals to uh, average salary multiplied by headcount. Average salary you can search over here multiply by headcount. So if you know headcount which we already taken over here is nine triple zeros head count. You can use alias name and product name both. I want this value to be round off to two decimal place. Otherwise it appear for multiple values. So I'm going to apply a new function over here called round function. So the list of all the function over select over here. I mean available. You can select your function. I like to speed up. So therefore I'm going to search it. Round function takes two argument expression and number of digit you like to round off. This is my expression and I want to round it off to two decimal place. The same I like to do it for second member, which is miscellaneous employee expenses. Miscellaneous employee expenses equals to salaries multiplied by employee benefit percentage, which is driver. Select member. The output stores over here. And I would be using round function again. 
two decimal place i already copied it and i'm just going to paste it round function employee salary multiply by employee benefit percentage it's a driver and then finally i want data to be rolled up to the parent which is your total your total employee expenses which is six triple zero once the calculation taken place i want number to be rolled up to total employee expenses and therefore i use this save this finally i want this aggregation to be taken place for all the department therefore i am going to limit it by using another fixed expression and i want this calculation to be taken place only for a specific account and what are these accounts to be calculated my three accounts are to be calculated salaries miscellaneous expenses employee expenses and total employee expenses therefore salaries you can copy paste over here make sure you put in a double quotes miscellaneous employee expenses and finally total employee expenses right make sure there's no extra space and you put them under double quote save this and to aggregate member i use another formula drag and drop your formula script and i want this calculation to be taken place for all the descendant of department so select uh, member variable department you can use a specific intersection which is your entity if you want it to be used for a specific entity you can select a specific member alternatively you can use a variable so i use variable department variable and i want again the calculation should be taken place for all the descendants of department save this and you can toggle to designer mode to edit mode have a quick look this is your script it will calculate your total salaries now this all issues you can figure it out if they are not in double quotes during your test phase when you validate you figure it out all these errors validate no syntax error perfect and finally we'll associate with data form and test it so i already created a data form we'll associate with this and test it i want this to be calculated on on save so open your data form interface form and the one which i shown you in my smart list this is my data form this is under plan salary and headcount expenses headcount salary plan click on add it and under business rule section you can associate over here i skip one step you should be deploying your calculation as well once you create this so right click and deploy and finally you can associate with the data form you need to refresh it 
I'll cancel and open it again. Open in edit mode and there's an option called business rule. You can attach a business rule. I already have one. I'm going to attach with a newly created business rule. Salary and headcount planning. I want this rule to be invoked on save and I want to hide the prompt, right? Once you've done this, save it and finish. The final step is to open this data form into smart list and validate the output. So I already opened it into my smart list. You can directly connect to private connection and open it. If you are new to smart list, please watch my previous video using smart list for PBCS application. You refresh it. So make sure you, okay. I need to define a credentials. If your session does not expire, it is fine. Click on refresh and make sure. Put some new number and test it. So I put new number under my February month, head count 10, average salary 1200, and miscellaneous employee benefit 10%. Put this number, click on submit, and the calculation take place. To make sure your calculation is correct, always compare with your requirement sheet. Under requirement, I put the same number and Check my output is same as under variance. So variance is nothing a difference between your, your expected output. You see it is all zero between the output rendered by calculation manager and your output required. The one which you calculated in Excel. The variance are zero. It means your calculation is absolutely perfect. For the month of January, there are some variances. It may be your old value did not refresh. Therefore, it happened. You can copy and paste for the month of January as well and make sure the numbers are correct. Now the variances are zero. It means it is absolutely correct. So we created business rule. We associate with data form. We deploy it, check for the syntax error, and finally we'll test it with some sample number and we found absolutely same number, same output as expected. So should you have any question related to consulting and training services, please feel free to reach out to bhpsolutions.com. Thank you.